the song. We're just strumming. And letting those chords ring out. Here we go with D. D, three, four, G, two, three, four, So that's still on the front pick up in this part. arpeggios is like knowing where you are on the guitar because your hands kind of floating out here and and a lot of people pick like with their entire arm kind of pick up and out and you don't want to do that you want to really grab as much onto the pick as you can so that just a little bit of the pick is coming out you can kind of feel where you are on the strings okay now there are a couple of ways you can do this you can put these fingers here on the body of the guitar and let them keep in contact with the guitar like the pinky can do that. So you can go. Okay, that way I have an anchor and I know where I am. Okay, give that a try. And you're doing a great job, but sometimes the fingers, your fingernails are a little long, so that's forcing your fingers to go like this over here and hitting the other strings. You want to be able to put your fingertips down on the strings and you want to make sure that you're right up next to the fret. Sometimes you're back here. See what happens? It vibrates along those frets. So, yeah, so get real close to the frets. You're still far back away from the frets. There you go. There you go, but you really work on doing three things really th two chords uh and two two techniques actually so we've got four four little things to keep in mind cut your nails on your on your left hand okay and you can the best thing to do is kind of file them down and then see how much you have to file them down don't just cut them down really close you know you you uh you really have to have them like about like that that's as long as they get mine still i cut mine like once every like three or four days okay so so you you have to have that or else it pushes your hand and it rolls it out on those other notes you want to be close to the frets now the way you do that is to angle your arm out not like this because your elbow can be into your body okay you want it angled out so that the hand is coming down like this okay as opposed to like this see what happens look if my hands like this they kind of go like that so I want it to be facing like this so my my fingers are coming at the guitar at an angle at this 45 degree even more drastic angle than that okay so then you're going to practice the arpeggio like this put your pinky on the guitar to G D. 
Now, we're going to do that in tons of songs. It's not just this song. This is in like so many songs. Being able to do arpeggios is very important, okay? So you can do that on the front pickup. This is called the front pickup or the neck pickup. People call it different things. And then to the G. So let's let you have a crack at that. That's good. Now one of the things that you don't have to do, you're making it harder on yourself than it needs to be, when you play from D to G, you're going like this. D. The problem is, this finger is the same in both chords. Look, D, G, D. That's your anchor, right? It doesn't need to change. So don't pick it up and reset, okay? Just simply go from D to G. Now, also, I notice that your hand is going like this when you're playing a G. It's coming down here, so the G sounds something like this. Okay? That's because it's too far away from the fret. What do I need to do? Put my elbow out, angle my hand, get those fingers right next to the frets. That's what the frets are for. They're, they're your helper. The further you are away from the frets, the harder you have to press down. The closer you are to the frets, you don't even have to, I can, I can, I can do this without even putting my thumb behind the neck. Like, I'm not gonna touch anything. I barely have to press. So easy, okay? So, try that one more.